Hi there, Gary here from Longsons and I'm going to take you on a brief video tour of this three bedroom semi-detached house we have available in the sought after village of Little Ellingham in Norfolk. Okay, so uh, that's the property there right in front of us. Um, the property is ready for some updating now, although it is offered in a good clean condition as you will see. So we've got a uh, front garden there laid to low maintenance shingle with a selection of shrubs and plants. There's plenty of parking on the side there with a the driveway laid to block paving and access there to the wooden workshop. It's a good sized workshop with electric power and lights. Now I'll just show you the property location. The property's nicely tucked away pretty much at the end of a cul-de-sac. So very little passing traffic. And there's the exit down there just at the end of the road. Okay, well that's the outside front. Let's go and have a look indoors. So we're heading in through the front door, straight into the entrance hall. There's uh, stairs up to the first floor and understairs storage cupboard. So we'll continue through the entrance hall straight into the kitchen where we've got fitted kitchen units, a small breakfast bar there at the end, work surface over, composite one and a half bowl sink units, space and plumbing for washing machine window to the side. The property is UPVC double glazed and it's oil fired central heating as well. So there's an electric hob with extract hood over. Uh, we also have, don't see this very often nowadays, but a walk-in pantry. Plenty of storage there and obscure glass window to the side. And there's also a door takes us through to the Really good size lounge stroke dining room. So to the rear of the room where there's sliding patio doors which open out to the rear garden. But we'll have a look at that in a short while towards the end of the video. There's a feature fireplace with solid fuel burning stove in situ. And then we've got walk-in UPVC double glazed bay window to the front. So that's a really good sized room. Now if we head back into the kitchen, through the kitchen, there's a door in the kitchen which then takes us out to the rear lobby where there's double glazed sliding patio doors providing access out to the side of the property. And we also have a storeroom. So, Plenty of storage in there. We also have ground floor WC with toilet. There's an obscure glass window to the side. And we also have, I'm gonna call it the boiler room, but it's a, it's a really good size room. So it offers plenty of potential for other uses besides just storing the boiler. So a really good sized storeroom at the moment as well, but uh, providing potential for other use, obviously. So that I believe is the ground floor. Let's head back through the kitchen, back into the entrance hall, and we'll head upstairs and have a look at the first floor. So coming up onto the landing, there's a built-in cupboard there that's housing the hot water cylinder, double glazed window to the side and doors off to the various rooms. So we'll start at the front here with bedroom one, good size double bedroom, window to the front. Then we've got bedroom two, 
also a good size double bedroom. The window to the rear. Just get a sleek glimpse there of the rear garden. And then back to the front of the uh, property, we've got bedroom three. So still not a bad size bedroom. Uh, this one with built-in cupboard, stroke wardrobe, and window to the front. And then we have a shower room. So we've got a double shower cubicle, wash basin, WC, obscure glass window to the side, and fully tiled walls. Okay, so that's the property interior. Let's go and have a look out in the rear garden. So we'll head back through the entrance hall, through the kitchen, into the rear lobby, out the sliding patio door, to the side of the property. So just so you can get your bearings, there's the driveway, just heading back out to the front. And then we're heading through into the rear garden. So as I mentioned, there's this really good size wooden workshop stroke garage. It does have electric power and light in there as well. So that's a really good size, very useful. Got garden laid to lawn. And we have tucked away around the side here, seating area laid to block paving. And there's the patio doors, which take you back into the lounge. So if we take a wander down the garden, I'll lead you up the garden path. We're walking past Wooden Summer House. That has electric power socket in there as well. We've got uh, a fruit tree there. Don't ask me what sort of fruit, but there's something growing on it. So uh, we also have selected shrubs and plants throughout and tucked away in the rear of the garden we have greenhouse there's another wooden shed there and then as I mentioned we've got open paddocks to the rear of the property so a very nice location and the property is offered for sale chain free as well Okay, so that was a brief video tour of this uh, spacious, detached, semi-detached I should say, three bedroom house situated in the sought after village of Little Ellingham in Norfolk. Thank you for watching.